And I was just looking around, and I've noticed this phenomena of clouds um, that's kind of, at least, if nothing else, interesting. On the horizon, these clouds, I realize that they're not real clouds. A lot of them. Maybe not all of them. See how they're just straight across these lines of cloud? And then what happens is, I was telling my friend about it. How these clouds didn't seem real, like they seem seated. And my friend was skeptical. So I decided to come out here with the camera and show him Okay, now you see the normal clouds and then you see the big haze in the haze, these lines. Well, the lines are these clouds being seeded. And there they are, the airplanes laying out. The clouds. So what I'm thinking we can do I'm just going to set the camera out here. And show how over time that trail of cloud that's being seeded by that airplane right there. Let's see what happens to it. If it decomposes and disappears, or if it does something else. You can see it starting to decompose, right? So at this point, this trail of smoke, or whatever, we don't really know what the composition is. You can see how it's leading right into this other trail of smoke that's starting to... It's like right into it. Well, why would somebody be trying to cover up the sky with clouds? I mean, they, they aren't dropping rain. And according to experiments, uh, that lab tests that have been done I've seen uh, several different examples. These, when it does rain, deposit um, aluminum and barium. And as we know, there's pretty much no other way aluminum or barium can get into the atmosphere to be rained down other than it being deposited there by someone on purpose 
aluminum and barium. Why would anybody? And you can see this this trail goes all the way across here. There's another one right next to it. And if we go back, see, okay, what's what's happening to these? They're just puffing out. They're staying there. They're not disappearing like a contrail. Normally does. When you see normal airplanes going across the sky, they don't have these kind of trails. That's because these trails have a different composition. And so they stay in the sky and create these crazy interesting cloudy skies and otherwise completely empty blue sky so if you look here's the line of cloud and then right and then nothing Chemtrails. I don't know how they look. Well, let's see what's happening with our chemtrail up here. It's spreading out. Someone's trying to seal up a gap in the sky. So, uh, I don't know. This is some kind of a. I mean, that's a lot of aluminum and barium in the sky right there. And where's that going? Well, it's going to come down. on the soil, on our food. It's not natural, people. Why are they doing it? I don't know. Who's doing it? I don't know. I'm not claiming to know why anybody would want to do this or who would do this. But what concerns me is that you don't know. There's no explanation. There's no official explanation by our government. And yeah, there's some, you know, you look it up, you'll find some conspiracy theories and some suggestions that this is like depopulation. It's possible, you know. I, I don't I don't see that as, as, as really a feasible ex explanation for me. Um... Although it, it may be true, but if you're going to depopulate, why would you go through all this trouble? Billions and billions and billions of dollars of airplanes and, you know, aluminum and barium. I mean, that's a pretty subtle way to depopulate. Like, that's going to take decades to get, I mean, people will get maybe Alzheimer's in 30 years. That's... That's not really, if you want to like really bring the population down and you've got billions and billions and billions of dollars, are you really going to go through the trouble? To get a bunch of airplanes and have them constantly putting aluminum and barium into the sky and trails so that people get Alzheimer's? I don't think so. Then what is going on? What is going on? That someone will, like, what are the effects, the properties of aluminum and barium? Those are the two main ingredients according to lab tests that have been conducted by individuals who are concerned about these. Um, these trails and so have taken water samples and independently tested them in labs and uh, 
That's not all there is, but that's, that seems to have been the, the primary components. Which is really strange, because, I mean, these are metals. Aluminum and barium are heavy. Like, they don't... You have to create something to to host these. and Like, they have to be manipulated to be made so that they can float in the atmosphere. You know, they have to be a certain consistency and weight. Now, it looks like the winds are blowing these east. And... See over here these trails that have already been left. I don't know if any of these clouds are real. I mean, I don't know this one. Let's see, you see the haze now where that first one was. It's kind of or there's these chemtrails start decomposing and then they become this haze above us. Now some people are going to say, oh, what do you mean it's not going to become that haze? These are completely different. Okay, so I'm just going to keep my eye on these and um, for time's sake I'm going to stop this and then restart it and we'll see.